Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. And in this video we're going to talk about is water breathing good in Oblivion? Is it worth it to maybe pick an Argonian or give yourself a water breathing spell? And this is an interesting concept to me. I love video games with a couple of useless things in them. Water breathing to me actually is not a useless skill. Let me explain what I mean by that. When you're running away from someone in oblivion and they're faster than you, the great equalizer is water, okay? Water is just something that seems to make it so everything slows down to a point where you can manage yourself, okay? So, water breathing. What can you do with it? Well, very simple. If you need to run away from someone, what better way to run, want to run away from them than someplace they can't get you, which is deep in the ocean. Now, you might have to do this if you're playing on like a max level difficulty character, or you might have to do this when you're a noob. If you're not playing on max difficulty, you're probably never ever going to need to do this, because you're probably just going to die and figure out how to beat the enemy. But if you're a noob, and you don't know those, those like quick thinking metas in Oblivion, or maybe an enemy is too tough, and too fast, whatever, Water breathing because it becomes extremely useful because you can stay away from that enemy for as long as you want. Regenerate your magic, unless you pick the Atronach, then in that case you're screwed. Regenerate your magic, heal yourself, do whatever you need to do. So that way, your character can stay underwater longer, as long as they want, and fix themselves and build yourself a game plan. Very simple. Build yourself a game plan. Water to me, water breathing is... A very 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 niche thing you only need it in two situations when you're running away or you need it when you're in basically two situate in the same situation if you're a noob or max level when you need to run away that's all it's used for it's like the ultimate runaway tool but is it good is it worth it to have 99% of the time no you don't need it it's a cool skill and that's what makes it good I think I think it is good because it's good for the game. I think water breathing is good for Oblivion because it is useless yet can be useful. It's the same thing with the athletic skill, the acrobatic skill, and the hand-to-hand -hand skill. Those skills pretty much are useless. They're not good. But they make the game so much more cooler. It's like levitation spells. I wish they had them in Oblivion. I know that they, I think they had them in Morrowind, but Oblivion... Imagine how cool it'd be with levitation. It'd be so cool. Same thing with water breathing. Really cool. Same thing with walking on water. Just really cool. So is water breathing in Oblivion good? Yeah. It's good because it's cool. That's it. That and you can use it to run away like one in a million times. But that being said, guys, I'd love to know what you think about water breathing in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on Oblivion. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you in the next episode of Streamer Vlog of whatever I decide to make.